Hey guys, what is up? Dave coming back to you with a new video. This is the second time I'm recording this because I'm an idiot and don't test things before I get excited about them working and then they don't work. So this is the second time I'm recording this. I want to show you guys something that Kennard in their Discord found today. Something we've been looking for for years. It is the beta test to Nitto 1320 Legends. We're not talking 0.4.0. We're not talking anything like that. We're talking earlier. Before 1320 Challenge was even closed. Before we even had a thought that 1320 Challenge would close. This is before Revo, before APOC. This is the Mopar Drag City Tournament Game Client. We found it. Well, Steve found it. I guess I should say. We found it, and I got it somewhat working. I'm working on it. It's taken a full recode. The only thing that doesn't work now is racing, of course, the most important part of the game. But it's here, and it's working, and I wanted to show it to you guys. So... Nobody has actually seen this since about 2004. It's been lost. We found it on a website that, you know, we normally have gotten a lot of data off of for 1320 Challenge. This just happened to be on that website, and we're going to go through it today. So, obviously, this is the actual beta to it. This isn't the original game client. This isn't the full version. The full version, for some odd reason, we actually can't rip. So, the issue with the full version is... We found them in zip files. These zip files are old, and because of them being so old, this is corrupt. And I don't know if there's anything out there that can fix a corrupt archive. As you can see, this was archived on the 12th of April in 2004 at 12.40 a.m. That shows how old this is. And then this one, even older, the April 9th at 9.48 p.m. This is the only one we can actually get to rip successfully because we can't get it out of the zip file on this one. We don't know what's wrong. So we'll have to go through and we'll figure that out eventually, hopefully. If anybody in the community understands or knows how to maybe fix a corrupt zip file, that would be fantastic. But that being said, let's go through it. Beta test version of Mopar Drag City Tournament. Participants in the beta, is, or participation in the beta is optional. No prizes will be awarded. Full tournament begins on the 12th of April. Let's go. So I do have login working with the 1320 Challenge login system. As you can see, it'll now come in here. Some of the prizes were a jacket. There was an iPod for a prize. As you can see, this is the beta test. Um, there's the how to play and lo and behold, something we didn't know is this is actually, like I said, the beta test for legends. So I'm going to go through all this beta stuff with you. I'm going to read all this to you, even though I suck at reading. Um, but I'll do my best here and I'll get this for you. So there are five cars available for you to drive. Each car is available in three modification levels, street, street, strip, and strip. Each car and modification level combination is considered one class, which means there are a total of 15 classes, five cars times three modification levels per car. Once you have selected the vehicle you want to race, you must complete three runs down the quarter mile track. The average of your three runs is your race score. Your race score is then compared to all other participants in your class. Race as much as you like, only the highest race score counts. If you red light, abort a race, or fail to complete the three requ required runs, you will foul and your race score will be invalidated. So there's obviously the way to see the official rules by going here. There's the how to race is where we're going to go next. So some of this is starting to look familiar to some of you guys. The shifter. Use the arrow keys to shift up and down through the gears. Press and release the up arrow to shift up one gear. Press and release the down arrow to shift down into uh, shift down one gear. The car starts in neutral. Pressing the up arrow from neutral will shift the car into first gear. Pedal sliders. Clutch pedal. So this is something I've been needing for years because I do not understand how the clutch pedal in Legends works or Challenge. Um, use your mouse to click and drag the clutch pedal slider to set your clutch engagement for the race. The lower the setting, the smoother and longer engagement will be. 
the higher the setting, the quicker and harsher the clutch engagement will be. So that makes sense. So the lower it is, the smoother the shift. So like shifting on the street versus not shifting at all on the quarter mile. So if you put it all the way up, then it's a hard shift, very hard shift. Okay, got it. Brake pedal. The brake pedal is a simple on off button. Press down with your mouse to brake. Gas pedal. Ye wow, this is actually very poorly set up. <laughs> no wonder it was a beta. Use your mouse to click and drag the gas pedal slider to control the amount of throttle. The higher the slider, the more open the throttle is. This will give you an analog control of your throttle, just like a real gas pedal. And then, as you can see, there's more here. Your first task is to set your clutch engagement. Using the clutch pedal, the leftmost pedal, click and drag the clutch engagement. A setting at or near the bottom of the pedal will result in this uh, soft clutch engagement, more slipping, as you launch, allowing you to launch with more power without spinning your tires. A higher setting will result in quicker clutch engagement that will allow your car to launch more quickly to get power to the ground, but may result in tire spin more tire spin than desired if you launch with too much power. The trick is to find a good combination of clutch engagement and launch RPM for each vehicle modification level. And then the staging. I'm not going to read all this to you guys. You guys can read. Just pause the video if you want to read it. And then finishing. So we'll go back. We'll go back. Um, I'm not going to go to the my account. This is all it is. It doesn't do anything. It's not coded yet. Let's go to race. So selecting cars in um, Mopar Drag City Tournament was actually by just scrolling through these and picking which one you wanted. So I'll show you all of them because they're all pretty cool. So there's the basic trim level where you get the Mopar Stage 1 Turbo Upgrade Kit, the Mopar Performance Springs, Mopar Performance Air Filter, the Mopar Performance Exhaust System, and the 421 Exhaust Header. And then there's a stage two turbo upgrade, a couple more parts, and then the famous actual Mopar car here um, with the really high end turbo and all that. And then on top of that, there's basically the same idea. That, that looks nice. They should have made that a real graphic wrap in the game too. Oh, well actually I guess now that we're in control of the game, we could. Wow, a 465 crate Hemi. Hmm. These cars were no joke. Let's look at the Challenger here. Six pack, pistol grip. No joke at all with this stuff. Basically, your stock wiper. Some nice upgrades. Some real nice upgrades. So now I'll click continue. Unfortunately, at this point, it basically teaches you how to race again, and then it breaks. Um, I can't get a racetrack to load because I can't find a racetrack. Uh, fortunately, thanks to Steve, the guy who actually found the client again, he has since extracted all the flash files that are in the executable. Um, and thanks to that, we actually do now have the tracks and the cars and stuff like that. Um, and we'll be able to move forward from here. I'll be able to add them into the game, hopefully go from there, get the game actually working, but I need to code new PHP files as well to go along with the back end of this game. Basically, once you click start, this is basically when it starts to break. And you get stuck at this loading screen. You can hit play and you can try, but this comes up and then it takes you back to logging in again. So right now that's as far as it's gotten. This is the actual race. There is no race code that I can see that I can figure out is supposed to even load here because there's nothing here. I need that other zip file repaired. I need to be able to extract that other zip. So I'll have to figure that out. If anybody has any tips on repairing a zip file to make it extract again, please let me know. That'll be incredibly helpful and will be forever in your debt because we'll have the full version of the Mopar Tourney drag 
city tournament thing um, that we can't currently have because this doesn't work. I don't know if there is any way of fixing it. I'm hoping there is because I'd really like to get this out of here so we can actually make it work. There's, yeah, there's no way to get this out as far as I can tell. Repair archive. Wait. Repair archive is useless. Literally freaking useless. <sighs> well, you know, I'll keep trying. I'll do some Googling as well, but I really do want to get this working. So let me know, guys, if you guys know anything, and we'll go from there. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys are excited also for the Mopar Drag City Tournament, as well as the 1320 updates. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.